Welcome, I'm Mark Solon. If you're a qualified solicitor or barrister, come and join the Bond Solon team of over 60 lawyers. We train some 6,000 events every year. Some of the events are online, some are in person. We're looking for both full-time and part-time lawyers, so see what fits for you. Bonsalon has been established over 30 years and we work in many areas. Look at bonsalon.com for the full details. Now let's meet some of the trainers and see if this is something you want to do. So in terms of my legal background, I'm a solicitor. I qualified 28 years ago, uh, working for the one of the large London city law firms into their commercial litigation department. And um, I was involved in a variety of different types of civil and commercial disputes, uh, including gathering witness evidence and taking cases all the way to trial. So the reason that I became a trainer with Bon Solon was for a couple of reasons. Um, firstly, I'd actually used Bon Solon when I was in practice as a fee earning solicitor. So I had an understanding, small understanding of what their training involved. But I wanted a lifestyle change at the time. I'd worked for a couple of large London city law firms um, by that time, and I'd also had a family and I was looking for a more flexible uh, change. So the type of trainer that I am, I'm a freelance trainer and um, it means that um, I'm able to do other things uh, during the week. I'm able to uh, accept work as I uh, would like in terms of the amount um, of work. Um, and I, it makes it very flexible in terms of the amount of work that I'm able to take on. So in terms of a favourite story from my time training, I'm not sure I can give a specific story, but there's been the occasion when I've met some uh, very high profile um, individuals, which has been quite exciting. Uh, there was also the occasion that I went to Washington DC to do some training. It was literally just for one day. It took me a day flying there, one night there, and a day flying back, but it was also quite exciting. So in terms of recommending um, training with Bon Solon, um, firstly, it's really stimulating and it's really interesting. I don't think I would ever say that two training sessions have ever been the same. Um, I've met a really interesting variety of backgrounds of individuals um, over the years that I've been delivering the training for. Um, it's really, really rewarding. Um, it's lovely uh, to feel that you're able to assist um, people. Uh, and it's also lovely to get feedback from people who feel very grateful by um, what you've been able to offer to them. I am Jean-Marie Labelle. I'm a barrister and I've been at the bar since 1992. And my background is that I started in science originally and then came to the bar uh, at around about when I was 37. And um, my background in the, the bar is I practice mostly in uh, family, personal injury, some commercial matters, partnerships fights, and a little bit of crime, uh, but mostly commercial matters. First of all, I was made aware of the Bon Solon through an advert in Council magazine. And uh, of course, previously, I had been lecturing in uh, the university to potential lawyers at the College of Law. But uh, when looking at uh, uh, progression in the career, having spent 15 years at the bar, uh, I was interested in Bon Solon because of what the advert said and in the advert they talked about training non-lawyers and at the start I did it one day a month or two days a month and it gradually increased and now I focus mostly on witnesses who are about to give evidence in court but I've also trained social workers, nurses, uh, complaints managers and even sometimes the tax man. As uh, I was at the bar, self-employed, and I'm here with Bonson, I've always been self-employed. And uh, the work is freelance, it comes when it comes. And I've found that it has been useful because you have an opportunity, of course, when you don't want to work, not to do so. 
But the reality is that it keeps me quite busy. And uh, it fits in with the family because there are times when I have extensive periods of time with the family. Like this year, I have three weeks off in the summer when we went on a good holiday. Yes, I would recommend the training to others, uh, especially if they're looking for the next step, is because it is a progression from your knowledge that you have before. Uh, you are able, in a practical way, to give very, very practical help to those who are about to face a hearing. And they don't know the court process, and they want to know. And of course, questions vary from person to person, but it is possible really to help them. The other reason I recommend it is because it's highly varied work. And myself, most of the work is in London, but I've been four months on all over the world. Uh, in the beginning of 2020, I was in Hong Kong. I've been to Uzbekistan and most of the countries of Europe to train. So my name is Nick, Nick Deal. Uh, I used to be a barrister. I was called in 89 and had a mixture of common law work. So it was PI, family, crime, um, a bit of construction and employment law. Um, and I was part of the Southeastern Circuit. So my uh, work took me around London and down to Brighton, Eastbourne and so on. And I was there until around about 1996. I left practice in 96 and went off to do other things. And uh, we came to realise that I wanted a bit of a, a, an extra challenge and I wanted a bit of an extra income stream. And I've been working in the training field in other areas, so standard management practice, uh, management training practice and so on. And came across Bon Solon and thought, well, this would be a really good way of using my background uh, as a lawyer, my, my previous legal knowledge, uh, and using that to, to train others. And I think what attracted me to it initially was that it wasn't about training lawyers, it was about training non-lawyers. Non so it didn't call for um, sort of pinnacle absolute legal expertise on my part. Uh, because it was just introducing people who were not part of the law into the law. So I think that's what drew me into it in the first place. I'm a freelance trainer, um, which means that I'm not on a salaried post. And uh, it means that I can, uh, there's, there's quite, a, quite a lot of flexibility uh, between me and the office in terms of, of accepting work or not. Um, there are areas that I specialise in, which particularly for me is in expert witness work and investigations practice. Uh, but it means that I can um, take work as, as it's offered. I can put my name forward for work, uh, but there's no obligation to take it. Uh, there's give and take on both sides. So in a way I can uh, manage my diary with the office. And it does allow a lot of flexibility. Um, and freedom to, to run things the way that you want them. So you're not sort of beholden to the office in quite the way that you would be as, a, uh, as an in-house trainer. So for me, that works very well. Of course, it means I manage my own um, tax affairs and so on. So I find that flexibility uh, very attractive, and particularly as a, a, as a former barrister, it kind of reflects uh, the the relationship between barrister and chambers. It's not the same, but it's a its a, a bit of a reflection of that. I think in terms of favorite personal stories since I've been training with Bond Solon, I think it's difficult to pinpoint one, but I think in any moment, and there've been lots of them over the years, where delegates have suddenly clicked uh, about something. Um, something has made sense to them about the the legal system uh, or uh, about for expert witnesses about their duty to the court uh, or for investigators realizing what their, their job is all about i remember a, a, an investigator saying to me part way through one of those oh it's it's all about the evidence isn't it and i thought well, yeah that's that's it it is just finding the evidence I remember um, an expert witness saying, 
so so really i'm just there to help the judge understand aren't i and I thought, yeah you've you've got it i think it's those moments as a as a trainer where you know it's it's what i suppose you call it the light bulb moment it's so it really clicks for a delegate they've they've enjoyed the day they've enjoyed the the, the training and the teaching and so on but something has clicked for them and you know that they're, they're going to go and put that into practice i think those are the those are the really special moments i think for any lawyer any any practitioner of any description you you, you get to a stage in your career where you, you can do everything that you do and you do it all extremely well you, and you know how to to cope with all of the all of the difficulties that your job um, can throw at you and then in a sense you you can look around for something else what what else then could be a a challenge what where else can i go with with the, the skill set that i've got i think one of the things with with training is that it, it it gives you that enormous privilege of being able to pass something on to somebody else uh so for for any uh, lawyer uh, who's been in practice for some time you will have you know sort of distilled a lot of skill a lot of ability a lot of knowledge a lot of practice a lot of confidence in in, in what you do and there's something enormous i find enormously satisfying in be being able to pass something of that on to somebody else who needs it so if you're dealing with uh, non-lawyers you know coming into the legal system in any capacity uh, for most people it's a complete mystery and and what we have the, the the privilege of being able to do is sort of unlocking some of that to delegates and therefore making their lives better as they step into the legal system they're able to cope with it they're able to understand it um, and I, I, I think I think it's an enormous uh, privilege to be able to be part of that and for a, a, a lawyer looking for another challenge looking for another outlet for their skills I would highly recommend it I would highly recommend contacting Bon Solon and saying look this is the skills that I've got and I'd like to see if I can work with you well I do hope you enjoyed meeting some of our trainers if you'd like to join us please do get in touch we'd love to hear from you